amazing one. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that everybody who's watched the trailer or if they watch clips of the show from Vikram Sir, um, everybody is loving what they see, which is, I mean, if you're a part of my circle, they're like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. Thank God we finally have something that's uh, great. But you've done amazing work. Um, you. What's your response? Uh, my response for you, you know that. I messaged <laughs> no, <not> her. Really. <laughs> like, I became her biggest fan after watching. I'm like, she's, she's really good in the show. In fact, first few days of the shoot, she was the one teaching me action. Um, because, yeah, it's true. I, I joined the show a little later and by then she had all the hacks of how to do the action correctly and she took me to a corner and she's like, so now you do this. But the, coming back to the trailer, the response has genuinely been amazing. And I know, you know, we all say that during promotions, but I really want to give a disclaimer. This is not one of that. I was um, very, very surprised because it's been a little bit more than what I expected. Uh, and you know when it's genuine and you know when your friends are just supporting you, it is. And uh, I've got great response for myself and people have actually asked me that, wow, she's looking amazing. She's, I mean, I did tell she you that. She looks so beautiful. <laughs> Mutual admiration society, <laughs> yeah. but we mean it. And I, I think it's, it, it looks like a good, good looking show. Like, I'm not talking about us girls. <laughs> oh my God, talk about being immodest. <laughs> but it looks like a well-made show, which it is. And once you see the show, you'll know that it's, Super interesting and very, very different and thrilling storyline. Yeah. Uh, well, Anamika is a, a secret agent and um, she has all this information that she collects. And in collecting all that information, she loses her memory uh, from an incident. And that's really where the journey begins. And she figures out certain information of why things are happening who's doing what, um, you know, the answers to her past, the answers to why um, bad things happened. How did this movie happen to you uh, all? Series. Yeah. How did this happen? Um, I, I think I got casted uh, later, and when the project came to me, all I knew is that Vikram was making it and Sunny was in it. And uh, I heard the log line of it, and that was enough for me to say yes. I said yes. I remember these guys were shooting. I came on set to just like meet everybody and kind of, and then I read the episodes. And uh, yeah, so for me, it was like a, this sort of a decision. And, um, and for, for me, also the fact that I'm getting to do action. That was very exciting, and I was very excited to do it. Little did I know that it's not as easy as I thought it would be in my head. I was like, action, I'll kill it. And then I come on set and I'm falling and like there was so much. One, of the, one of the biggest um, fight scenes we do in the beginning of yeah. when we first, first start yeah, shooting, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of dudes everywhere. We're and slipping, we're falling. Yeah, Pani yeah, Pani Puri. <laughs> You remember that? I was actually going to talk about that. That was so, it was so tough and all I had to do was run. And I could not even run properly and I'm like, Sonali, you can't run anymore. I mean, where will action come from? Because Pani Puri had fallen, Laddus had fallen and its oil had come on the thing and my shoes are skidding and I'm running like, like I don't know, really weird. Uh, but but that's, the, that's also the time. And also remember the first day I hit you? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I, she had to hit me with a plate and I had to kick her and obviously I had to kick her as an action people with her and I had to cheat it. Action is all about cheating and I know nothing about it, so in life. Uh, and I hit her but then she was very sweet about it. Yeah, I mean, well the thing is is that when you're, whenever you're shooting action you have to be prepared that you might yeah. get some bumps and bruises but nothing is or you want to believe nothing is intentional. It's all by accident. And even if you're off just this much, I said, fuck it, look to you. Yeah. And you know, you get hurt or the other person gets hurt. I definitely yeah. hurt some of those um, fighters on this show. Yeah. But I have to confess, I was, I was very scared when I hit you. Oh. I might have looked like odd, but I was like, oh shit, oh, sorry, yeah. she's going to school me now. No, no, not at all. Um, <laughs> yeah, but she but was it, very sweet about it. Uh, we had fun shooting the action. I think that's one of the um, amazing parts of yeah. our job is we get to do things that we've never done before. And yeah. that's also something that I've done action before, I've shot guns before, and then we've done certain small things, but not as extensively as we did in this show. Yeah. Tell us more about your characters, like uh, what kind of role you are playing. 
So I play Ria, who is an assassin, and um, she has a lot of layers to it. Ria, in the beginning of the show and by the end of the show, I mean, I don't want to give away too much, but there are some layers. <laughs> Let's yeah. just put it like that. Um, and she is, she's, of course, it's an action show, show, so she's very tough and all of that, but she is also someone who's extremely calm and centered and she knows exactly what she's going to get. So even though she is super agile and fighting and doing all of that and chasing her, uh, she's also working with her mind all the time. So she's constantly plotting and thinking how to get there, what to do. And she notices the tiniest of things. So all these things are very interesting. And these are little nuances which are not written in the script. Um, so we were constantly like, you know, putting life into Rhea, breathing life into Rhea, uh, Vikram sir and I, as we went along. And uh, I'm, I'm very happy with how it's come out to be. And it was a super, one of the most fun characters um, to play, that's for sure. Yeah. And I think that was part of one of the best parts is Vikrams are really working with us individually yeah. or as a group and um, figuring out exactly how he wants to see it because yeah. only he knows how he want, wants to see it. And he's very sure of it. Right. And, you know, getting that out of us or, you know, reminding us of small little details that helped us perform. So that was always really, really helpful. Yeah. So what was the challenging part during shooting? I don't think anything was like <laughs> so Something. challenging. I mean, we would fall over each other a lot during action or hit each other or, you know, an accident. But I think all in all it was not so tough. I think you talk like a pro girl. <laughs> well, I, I, for me, I was like everything was challenging, and she's like nothing was challenging. And that's no, I mean, you. it's a part. It's a part of the job. We yeah, all have to adjust, and we all have to learn. And we have to list, be good listeners, and because Vikram, like we just spoke about, was very sure of what he wanted, yeah. and we needed to deliver that. So, in order to deliver that, he was so good at explaining it. So we have to be good listeners and all this. Yeah. But I didn't, I loved going to set every day. Yeah. I was like, who am I going to beat up today? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you were quite kicked about it. <laughs> For me, I, 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 I differ a little bit. For me, action was challenging because I think it's, it's also because in my head, I had an idea of how action is. I'm, I'm, I am a very uh, agile and a very physical person. I do a lot of kickboxing and, you know, I work out a lot and I, I like running and stuff. So I thought ki I to aise kar lungi action. <laughs> and then little did I know that it's so technical. So for me, the fact that, you know, when, when you're doing a scene, when you're performing a non-action scene, like drama, emotions or whatever, you go along, right? So if, if there is a pause, I take a pause and then I continue. Or if I have to cut you and I'll cut you in action, I won't kar sakte ho. So if I've, if I've punched, and she's not punched me back, I cannot go for the second punch, right? Because that hit, hit has to come. So for me to understand the technicality that you hit and it's okay to wait, they'll edit it. So that took a bit of time. But once I got it, I got the hang of it, uh, then it got super, super interesting. So the first one few of, days were very challenging. Right, and I think one of the, I, I just remember one of the best advice that he would remind us is take each movement as a separate yes. movement yes because you know when you're doing action your adrenaline is going you like, have to remember this you can a book and I then I have to kick then I have to get there and he would always say slow down yeah <laughs> correct correct and do each of the movements properly do them full then move to the next one but you get so like hyper mm. that you need to do all these things and yeah. it needs to look real and yeah um, so he was he's very good yeah. of good about explaining yeah. how to do it small yeah. small things Correct. made a big difference yeah. I was working with hmm? how was how was working with <laughs> and it was so bad. It was I so hate horrible. her. It's just an act. We <laughs> hated seeing each other on set. We love doing the action scenes and hitting yeah, each other. Yeah, <laughs> um, we had a great time working together and feeding off of each other. I learned a lot from her watching her and she's done such an amazing job in this show. And all the work that you've done in your past, it looks like... You watch someone and you're like, oh, she's good. 
<laughs> I think what Sunny doesn't know is I genuinely, and I'm going to use this word, but I really love her. And I, I've always, I'm, an, I'm a very energy person. So for me, when I get that, I always thought even before working with her on this, I'd met her and we'd done like one or two small things. But um, on, and I knew that I liked this girl, but when I worked with her and I would go back and tell my mom, it's like, amazing heart. Oh. Great person, and I yeah maybe I don't, I don't say <laughs> okay, but, yeah. no, but I, I she's don't cry. Very, very hard working. This girl would come with like cycles and treadmills on set. Uh, I did carry I did carry my cycle to set. Yeah, she's so casual about it. She would eat right, and there's so many other things, um, and extremely secure as an actor, as a human being, and I really admire that. Um, you know, because I worked with a lot of girls as colleagues in my life, so I understand when there's a good energy and a bad energy um, you know and um, she's definitely someone I had a blast working with yeah we did have a lot of fun absolutely fun doing the emotional scenes there are a few scenes where I actually had to like care for her and you know like hug her or whatever and it came so naturally like I felt very connected to her tell us one of, one of the most best best most most I think our first, the first fighting scenes were yeah. pretty funny because we were fumble, basically fumbling over and each other you. and, <laughs> and you know, rolling you. around in laddus and um, those booties and you know going through this amazing set. I, I don't know. It's like yeah. you have to pick one is very difficult. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, those were the the action ones were the most. The first few days were definitely the most memorable, simply because I was goofing up a lot as well. She's just being very nice about it. I was goofing up too. <laughs> <laughs> also, she took me to one. I don't know if I already said that, but I, I I I've been saying that to a lot of people. The first day itself, when when she saw that I'm kind of struggling through so ourselves, she actually took me to a corner. You remember that? You took yeah. me to one of those things, and then she said, "Listen, I've just done another action thing, and these are the list. She gave me a little tricks, and she told." I was like, that is amazing because I mean a lot of people, you know, don't do that. And uh, oh, you get scared. I was scared to say something because there's small little things. What happens is, is when somebody else teaches you things, you remember these small little details of what to do or how to do it, and then you feel like, oh, I should pay it forward. Um, but you never know how someone's going to react when they take advice because a lot of actors and actresses are like. Uh, don't well, tell me how to do my job. <laughs> I was like, tell me, tell me more. Yeah, no, so it was nice being able to bounce these things off of each other and and really learn um, how we function because it's like a choreographed dance at the end of it, yeah. without yeah. It, shaking. True. So women's day is coming. What's your plan? What's our plan? We're going to be. That's on the eighth. Yeah. Oh, Someone I should um, go to this true. local shop down the street, give us a couple of awards, saying you're the best woman ever. That should be planned. That's so someone, someone should just, someone should do that. You know, down the street they make all these awards and stuff. <laughs> on give the side award. of the street, one for you, one for me. Say, you're amazing. I would be so happy. <laughs> But I think we're probably going to be busy promoting the show because it's releasing on the 10th of March and that's like going to be two days away from the 8th. So we're going to be amazing women and promoting our show and then hope all the women and men watch it on the 10th of March. Who do you feel is responsible for taking action on women's issues? On what? On action on, on women's issues? Yeah. I don't understand. Like as in who's responsible in life? Um, that's a really big question. Yeah. As in what? Tell me more. Like, like, who do you feel is responsible for taking action on women's issues? Who should take? Yeah. I think they mean like women's issues. Who's responsible to raise these issues? Yeah. Um, we have question made our own question. What is this? This is it. So, I mean, I, I think every, I can't say only women are responsible or only men are responsible. I mean, I think uh, as a humanity, the human race is responsible to um, sort of make sure <laughs> we don't. The question. We tried. Do you rephrase the question? We because tried. I think the issue is is that we're trying to pinpoint issues. It's all individualistic. It's all in what that woman's life is like. It is our choice how we want to live our lives. It's our choice how we want to dictate ourselves through the day. So the question is a little bit off, um, but I think it comes down to. 
we are responsible for ourselves. Yeah. Um, I am responsible for how I want to be as a woman. If I want to say no to something, I should be able to do that. And I think that all women should feel that way. Sometimes those choices are not there, but I think little choices, little changes in your day to be a stronger, better you is what um, you know we aim to feel like or be like. We want to be the best me or the best you you can be throughout your day uh, so I think we should we should be responsible well said. that's well said yeah. I don't like these questions because it's always done in this weird negative way when we should be celebrating women yeah. instead Absolutely. of talking about all the bad things that happen what about or, all the good yeah, things or holding one person responsible for an entire thing as a race as humanity we all are as human beings we all are so and lastly what do you want to say to your audience related to Anna? Go watch an army on 10th of March. Binge yes. watch it. <laughs> on MX Player. Yeah. No, but yeah, it's it's uh, me doing action for the first time, sunny and something so different. Right. So yeah.